Welcome to another video from Inzara.com. In this video, I will present the features of the new 2009 and 2014 Lok Sabha election results in Excel. You can use this free template that you can download from Inzara.com to view the results of these two elections and also find some data visualization techniques that you could apply to other topics or data sets that you work with. You may also find ideas that you can share with me about how to make these visualizations even better. If you have never subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to receive notifications about future videos about Excel and Excel templates. If you find this video helpful, please share with your friends. Before we get started, the link to download this template for free is provided in the video description below. Now let's get started. When you download the template, this is what you will see in the home sheet, which basically says that there are three different views available, parliament view, state view, and then the constituency view. So I'm going to go into each of those and I'm going to show you the features that are available within each. So let's go to the parliament view. The parliament view, as the name indicates, is representing the parliament as 543 different constituencies or seats and each cell that is colored here is a different constituency and there are 543 cells. Now let's look at the options that you have in order to change these visuals to meet your needs. For example, display, there are four different options available. You can either choose to display the state name or party that won the seat or alliance that won the seat. Also, you can choose win margin percentage to be displayed. Similarly, in the color option, you can decide to use colors for um, state, party, alliance or win margin percent. The sort, this is to decide how the constituencies are going to be grouped or organized. So by default, for example, by state, now you see that all the constituencies are sorted by state, which means all the seats within a state are going to be together. So for example, all the UP state seats are together, all the West Bengal seats are together, and so on. And it starts from Andaman and Nicobar, and then Andhra Pradesh, and then it comes all the way to West Bengal. Sorting by party means you'll be sorting it based on either it's an Indian National Congress or BJP or other parties. Alliance, it's the same way. Year, that since there is data for two years of elections, you can choose 2009 or 2014. So given these different options, you can create many different combinations and thus create different visuals. I'm just going to provide you with a few that I found interesting and also a few of the commonly requested questions about election results. So let's start with, I'm going to choose display the alliance, color by alliance. I also want to sort this by alliance. And let's choose 2009 to begin with. And now what we're going to see is how did the 543 seats get organized by the alliance that won that seat? In 2009, you can see that UPA won 262 seats and NDA won 159 and others won 22. So all the UPA seats are now organized and you can see that they come close. 272 is basically this seat. So it should have crossed that in order to get majority, but it did not. But it had the support from others, some of the others, to actually go past the majority required. And when we switch it to 2014, you'll see how strong the NDA was. It clearly goes past the majority required and, you know, it easily won uh, to form the government. So this is by alliance. So let's say we want to change this entire thing by state. So now I want, um, sorry, not by state. Let's do uh, party first. So we want to display the party that won it. And you can start seeing, for example, this is all BJP, but then there's also Shiv Sena because they are part of NDA. So the party name is displayed as Shiv Sena, but then the alliance color is given as NDA color. So that is how you can do combinations of these things and get to different insights. I'm going to now choose color by party. 
and then also sorted by party because we can now see how strong, um, for example, this is 2014, BJP by itself had so many seats without any uh, help needed from other parties in the coalition. And in 2009, when we switch this, you will see that Congress had only seats one until here, and then it needed help from other some of the other parties to um, get past the majority. Now, the third type of visual that I want to show here is by state. So we can also do display the state, and it's going to display the abbreviation of the state. And you can see that Andhra Pradesh is here, Gujarat. Since we are sorted it by party, I want to, um, so before I do that, you can see that where Congress won in 2009, you can see that Andhra Pradesh was a significant um, contributor, and then it had wins in Rajasthan and uh, also in Maharashtra. So you can see where they won. Uh, but what I want to show here is to sort by state, and also I want to color by state. So this is going to, um, it doesn't matter which year you choose because all we are displaying is the state name. So even if you do 2014, you'll get the same result. But the idea here is to show how, um, how much does each state or union territory contribute to the 543 seats, the entire um, Lok Sabha. So you can see that the big one clearly is Uttar Pradesh, which has 80 seats. And so it clearly is a big chunk of uh, seats in the entire 543. And you'll see the next few big ones here, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, um, and then uh, West Bengal has a lot as well. And then Andhra Pradesh, um, this is because before um, 2014 or before 2014, you'll see that Andhra Pradesh is actually pretty sizable. But then from 2019, they get split into two states, and so they won't be individually that strong. But anyway, this is 2009 and 2014 data. So Andhra Pradesh was together at the time, and then you'll see that they have a pretty good number. Bihar has a good uh, volume as well. Uh, and Tamil Nadu is another one which is you know in the top five or top six um, states in terms of number of seats in the Lok Sabha. So for the next visual, let's try to change this to color by party. And so what we are doing now is showing, displaying the state name, but then you're seeing which party won those states. For example, in the Andhra Pradesh, this is 2009. We can see that it's mostly green, indicating that Congress was the top party in Andhra Pradesh. And then you can see that UP, there is a lot of blue, which is others, but then you don't see a lot of BJP or the orange or the saffron color in 2009. But let me switch this to 2014 and then you will see the big shift. There you go. So now clearly Uttar Pradesh is almost swept by BJP in 2014. They also had pretty strong showings in Rajasthan and then um, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, you can see all you know, um, saffron, and then um, also in uh, Delhi, for example, they won every one of those seats. And then you will also notice that in West Bengal, there are the others. So in order to know, okay, which party might have been the um, strong one in West Bengal or Tamil Nadu, um, or even in Andhra Pradesh, where they, we actually show others. So then what you can do is to change the display to the party that won it, and then decide to color, for example, by state. So now what happens is this area is the Uttar Pradesh area. You can see that it's all BJP. Um, and then you, the green one, which is West Bengal. And now you can see that AITC is the um, strong party in that state. And similarly here in uh, Tamil Nadu, ADMK was the big winner. And then you'll see some of the other um, parties that are significant contributors in each of these states. And the color is for each state. And then you're displaying the party name that won. The last type of visual that I want to um, illustrate here would be where we can show the color by winning margin percent. So this is interesting when you see, for example, you're displaying the party that won. So let, let's just change it maybe to Alliance, 
So now what we are, what we are seeing is in 2014, you will see that there is a lot more dark green. Uh, let me just sort it by alliance as well to make it easier to see. Okay, so what we have done is sorted by alliance. So by NDA, you can see all of the NDA wins here. There's a lot more dark green indicating that the win margin was 20% or higher, but then keep an eye on the dark greens when I switch from 2014 to 2009. And now you see that the UPA, UPAs are here, but then the dark greens are very few compared to what we saw for NDA in 2014. Uh, let me switch it again so you can see. Not much green, dark greens. There's a lot more dark greens. The dark green is the high win margin percent, indicating that the wins in 2014 by NDA are of a much more comfortable margin, and so they had a bigger support from the voters in 2014 compared to uh, for the UPA in 2009. So here are some of the insights that you can gain from such a visualization technique. Everything is done using conditional formatting, and formulas. So if you're interested, you can definitely unprotect the sheets using Inzara as password, and then you can learn some tips about how to do this. You can also let me know your feedback on how I could make this better. Now let's move to the state view, which is much simpler compared to what we had to explain in the parliament view. This is just nothing but um, top parties within each state, and you can see it in, term of a, in terms of a table. and. Um, now, since we don't have any filters in the state filter, what you're seeing is 2009, the top party, and then number of seats it contested, number of seats it's won, and then number of seat win percentage is calculated on one divided by contested, and then number of votes it polled, and then vote share. Vote share percent is calculated here as number of votes by that party divided by total votes polled in, in all the seats. Now, when we go to 2014, you will see the same metrics for 2014, which is the top party and everything. You will also see that in 2014, you are comparing the uh, results with 2009. And for example, BJP, which won 282 seats in 2014, and that's actually 166 seats more than 2009. And that's actually number of votes it increased in 2014 compared to 2009, vote share increased by 12.2%. And that is because they had a vote share of 31% in 2014, and BJP in 2009 had a vote share of 19%. So that's the increase of 12%. And all the others outside the top 10 will be grouped together. And that's at the last line. You can filter to any specific state for example if i want uttar pradesh and i can click on uttar pradesh and now i can see the top party in uttar pradesh in 2009 and then the top party in uttar pradesh in 2014 so you can see them and then also the comparison between 2014 and 2009 the top three party symbols are provided here as long as i have I was able to find the symbol. There are a few parties that I could not find good symbol images for, but for the more the the ones that won a lot of seats, the symbols would appear for the top three parties, whatever your filters are. So when I unfilter, now I can see for all the states together. That's the state view. And then the constituency view is the last view where you can actually choose a specific state. Um, let's again choose Uttar Pradesh. And then the most famous constituency there would be the Varanasi. So one thing is when I choose Uttar Pradesh, then this drop down changes only to the constituencies within Uttar Pradesh. Now I can choose the specific constituency. Let's say I want to choose Varanasi. Then the results are representing now the specific constituency. In 2009, so many votes were polled, so many contestants, winning margin was only 2.6%, and then, you know, Bharatiya Janata Party was the winner, so you have the symbol there. And then in 2014, there was a 55% increase in votes polled, and then there were 43 contestants, and then the winning margin was 36.1%. And here are the, the candidates in the top five spots in um, 2009 and 2014. And then if you are choosing, let's say for example, um, let me choose another one which is a closer win. 
um, let's go to Jammu and Kashmir for example and then I'm going to choose Ladakh so you will see that this was a very close win there was only a margin of 36 votes separating the winner and the runner-up and that's why it is shown as a close win you will also see a message at the top right which says this seat switched from a certain candidate or a party in this case it's independent to BJP in 2014 if it was retained let me choose another one so this also switched this also switched okay it looks like everything switched in Jammu and Kashmir um, now let me choose another one let's say for example Gujarat and then I want to show you the one of the largest wins so I'm going to choose Surat if I can find there you go okay so this one BJP retained its seat from 2009 to 2014 and the winning margin was 5.3 lakhs and that 56.2 percent margin between the winner and the runner-up and uh, so that's how you can use the constituency view to really narrow down to a specific constituency and see who won and then also the runner-up and then the top five candidates and in some cases you'll see none of the above so uh, in 2014 nota was introduced as an option so you will see none of the above as a candidate um, or a choice for the voters in 2014. So that's about this template so i hope that this template is useful if you have any feedback about the quality of the data or how how we can make this data more accessible to everybody please post your feedback in the comment section of the video or in the blog post the link to download the template and also have the blog post where i walk through all this step by step is available on inzara.com and i will be putting the link to that in the video description below if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do subscribe and i will see you all in the next video about another excel template Thank you very much for watching.